Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Thursday. Okay, so on Tuesday, do you remember when we read the story, um, the three little pigs and the somewhat bad wolf? And we compared and contrast. Remember those big words, right? We talked about what was different from that story compared to um, the original three little pigs, right? And what was the same about that? And we found some similarities and some differences. Those are big words for things that were the same and things that were different, okay? Today, I'm gonna to read another story. And remember, I have so many different versions of the three little pigs and I love to read them because I just love the author's creativity and how they change it a little bit. So this one though, I think you're gonna know by the title what's different. It's called The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. Yeah, that's right. It's the big bad pig. Yeah. I know. So right off the bat, this is different because it's talking about three little wolves and a big bad pig, not a big bad wolf. Okay, so this is going to be a bit different, but maybe there'll be some things that are the same as the somewhat bad pig. Okay, let's see if we can find that out. All right. So once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day, the mother called the three little wolves around her and said, my children, it is time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry, mother, we'll watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and off they went. Okay, do you remember the somewhat bad pig? How we talked about how it was different from the original story? Right. It wasn't a mom in the beginning. It wasn't the mama pig. It was they were on a farm. Right. And the farmer was like, hey, we're moving. So you got to go. OK, this one is kind of like the original three little pigs. Right. Where the mom is like, you guys have to leave the house. Take care of yourself now. Right. You're old enough. Right. So same thing. We got a mom wolf instead of a mom pig, though. It gets a little different here. Soon they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please, will you give us some of your bricks, asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. Wait a second. In the other stories that we read, isn't it the third little pig who built his house out of bricks? Yeah, right? So here we're different. They're all building it together? Hmm. Maybe these three wolves are a little bit smarter. So right from the start they're building a house out of bricks how is a big bad pig gonna blow it down it's already made out of bricks i'm interested don't you want to know what happens the very oh here's the big bad pig okay the very next day the big bad pig came in prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves had built the three little wolves were playing croquet <laughs> um in the garden that's like another kind of fancy word. Um, it's like a game, kind of like golf, but different. Um, when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house and locked the door. Oh, okay. So what's going to happen? They, there you have the brick house and they're all together and they're running inside the house. How is he going to blow it down? Hmm. Okay. Also, does pigs eat wolf? Do pigs eat wolf? I guess this one does. The pig knocked on the door and grunted. Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. But, but there's the little similarity, right? Kind of the same of the other stories, right? Pay a big bad pig or a big bad wolf knocks. And he's like, let me in. And they're like, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Okay, wolves have hair. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. Yeah, we figured that, right? You can't just blow down a house with like your breath, right? That's not gonna work. What's gonna happen next? Is that just the end of the story? It's not the end of the story. Hmm. No! Do you see what he's doing? <gasps> but the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his sledgehammer and he knocked a house down. Oh my gosh. The three little wolves only just managed to escape before the bricks crumbled and they were frightened indeed. 
what can they build a house out of now? They already did the bricks part. They didn't even start with straw or hay or sticks or anything. They already did the bricks and he knocked it down with a hammer. Oh my goodness. <sighs> we shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Okay, all right. So concrete, concrete's strong. Concrete is built up, houses around us are built out of concrete and concrete's like the sidewalk, how tough a sidewalk is, right? Yeah, so concrete, okay. Could be better than bricks. Please, will you get us some of your concrete as the three little wolves? Certainly, said the beaver. And he gave them buckets and buckets of full of messy slurry concrete. So concrete's kind of like a, a liquidy first and then you pour it out and it dries really hard, okay? So the three little wolves built themselves a house out of concrete. Okay, good luck with that, well, big, I mean, pig. No sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the little wolves had built. They were playing, um, it's called like a badminton when they play and they like, it's kind of like a mini tennis. And when they saw the big bad pig come and they ran inside their house and shut the door, the pig rang the bell, not knock, and said, little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. Not by the hair in our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. Okay. What do you think he's gonna do now? Cause clearly he doesn't give up if just the huffing and puffing doesn't work. Oh gosh. <clears throat> do you see what he's doing? <gasps> but the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his drill and smashed the house down. Oh, so this is like a machine that like really gets into the um, concrete. The three little wolves managed to escape, but but their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling and trembling. So that means it was shaking. They were like, oh my gosh, this pig pad pig won't stop. We just made a house of bricks and now concrete, what can we do next? All right, here we go. This is the third house, right? So usually this is, this is the third house that in all the stories, right? That's the one that is good, right? It stays and they can't get knocked down. So let's see if this is the same as the other stories, right? We shall build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then they saw a truck coming along the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give us some of your barbed wire to your few iron bars and armor plates and some heavy metal padlocks, they said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Sure he said, and he gave them plenty of all those things. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was generous and kind-hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one could possibly imagine. They felt absolutely safe. So they're saying all this, this metal and everything is better than the brick, better than the concrete. They are secure. Okay, so this one has to be it, right? This one has to be the house that stands. Let's see. Next day, he's big and bad, right? The big bad pig came prowling along the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden when they saw the big bad pig come and they ran inside their house, folded the door and locked all 37 locks. That's a lot of locks. The pig dialed the video entrance phone and said, little frightened wolves with the trembling trims, let me come in. And they replied, no, no, no. They said, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He brought some dynamite, laid it against the house, lit a fuse and... Oh, no, 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 no. The house blew up. What? This story is so different. That third house should have been the one that stays. Oh my goodness. The three little wolves just managed to escape but their fluffy tails were a little burned. I mean, first of all, what does this pig want from them? Does he want to eat them? Like what do you just get, you just have fun blowing up houses and knocking them down? That's not nice. How are they going to stop him? Something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different, but what? 
And that moment they saw a flamingo coming along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers, said the little wolf. With pleasure, said the flamingo. And he gave them lots of flowers. The three little wolves built themselves a house out of flowers. That, that's like worse than the straw on the sticks. How is that gonna hold up? This story is going kind of like backwards, right? Interesting. One wall was of marigolds, that's a type of flower. One was daffodils, one was pink roses, and one was of cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers and the floor was carpeted of daisies. They had water lilies in the bathtubs and buttercups in the refrigerator. It was a rather fragile house. That means like, could easily break is what fragile means. And it swayed in the wind, but it was beautiful. Okay, if it moves in the wind, remember wind when Miss Heller taught us about it, sways in the wind? How is it going to stop the big bad pig? The next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house out of flowers that the three little wolves had built. He rang the blue bell at the door and said, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the burned tails, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves, but not by the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. I mean, don't you think that that's gonna work, right? Like he can just, you can blow a flower down, right? Yeah, you ever done like dandelions, those puffs that you, that you blow? Yeah, we can blow a flower down. Of course, this big pet pig can go. What do you think's gonna happen? Do you think he's just gonna get them? Like that's just it? What happened in the story with the somewhat bad pig? What happened at the end? Remember the wolf, he like passed out, he was so tired. And then he was like, I am so sorry. I was not acting like myself. And they kind of became friends. Sorry if this is, sorry if that was loud. Someone's blowing their lawn. I don't know, let's see, what could happen next? But as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff, he smelled the soft scent of flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent was so lovely, he pig took another deep breath and another. And instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff like, ah, oh, it's so nice. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with the fragrant scent. That's like a nice smell. His heart grew tender and he realized how horrible he's been. Right then he decided to be a big good pig. He started to sing and to dance. So just flowers made him better? Interesting. And the wolves, I don't know if you could see the wolves are looking at him like, are you serious? At first, the three little pigs, the th oh, sorry, the three little wolves were a bit worried. It might be a trick. Wouldn't you be a little worried, right? He knocked down, like blew up three houses of yours. I don't know if I'd trust him a little bit. He's got to prove it kind of like BB Wolf, right? When he's like, I'll prove it to you. It's not enough to just say it. I'll show it. But let's see. So it might be a trick, but soon they realized that the pig had truly changed. So they came running out of the house. They started playing games with him. Okay, that's different. He's not blowing their house anymore. He's playing nice with them. First, they played pig pog and the piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into the house. I'm a little worried. They offered him tea and strawberries and, and wolfberries and asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived happily together ever after. Hmm. I did not see that coming. Nope. Not at all. See, isn't it cool though? I like when authors, so this author was Eugene Travesis and Helen Oxenberry. When they add, they make, they take that original story of the three little pigs and they change it up and they put their own little spin on it. They make it the how they want it to. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, we did some predicting today and we compared and contrast, right? This story, was sort of like the other stories, right? You had three characters and a bad character who was trying to knock down their house, right? But this one was a lot different, right? They didn't build the house out of straw or um, sticks. They built a house out of brick right away, right? And the three wolves worked together. Where in the other stories, the pigs kind of worked separately, right? Until they all came together with the third little pig, right? But this one was different. But at the end, he became friends with a big bad pig and the big bad pig wasn't so bad after all. Hmm. Who knew?
need to make a house out of flowers. I did not see that coming, but that's why I like stories like that, right? They keep you entertained. Okay, so I hope you have a great day today. Make sure you watch all the other teachers' videos and I'll see you back here tomorrow. I have another three little pig story. It's a little bit different again. Bye.